Good morning and welcome to Wake Up with Marcy and Hillary. Get ready for an inspiring and uplifting morning as we dive into the stories of our incredible guests. Valentine's Day. Day! It is, but it can be a challenging time for those who may feel lonely or experienced increased anxiety or depression. And we want to give you some tips for self-care and support during this time. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during this time. Reach out to loved ones. Connect with friends and family. Engage in self-care activities. This can include mindfulness or meditation, taking a bath, reading a book. Engage in the hobbies and the things that you enjoy. And you know what you have to do? Avoid social media comparison. Remember that social media often presents a highlight reel of people's lives and it may not really reflect reality. Mine doesn't a lot of times. I'm only putting the good stuff out there. <laughs> Be honest. Also, volunteer or give back. Consider volunteering or engaging in acts of kindness. Think of Valentine's Day as a day of love for yourself, partner, friends, family, community, and your pets. Every day should really start with love. Now, let's hear about our guests. First up, we have Sia Justice, a DEI diversity, equity, inclusion consultant and executive coach, delving into the profound impact of Black History Month. She shares her aspirations for the future of Black women and actively contributes to their empowerment. Next, we have the amazing Lauren Brill Castle, the founder and CEO of Sweet Lauren's, the number one natural cookie dough brand in the country. Lauren will be sharing her personal journey of surviving cancer and how it inspired her to create Sweet Lauren's, which is delicious. She'll also be giving us some delightful Valentine's Day treat baking and decorating tips. Then we'll need Alexandra Neiman, the founder and CEO of the Break Free Foundation. This nonprofit organization is dedicated to advocating for those struggling with mental health, substance use, and co-occurring disorders. Alexandra will be sharing her unique approach of blending recovery and fashion, including details about an upcoming fashion show happening right here in Manhattan during Fashion Week with yours truly over Yay, here. Yay, I'm so excited. We will both be there and I'm very grateful. Last but certainly not least, we'll sit down with Drew Schumann, an entrepreneur from Long Island, New York. Drew has ventured into various industries from finance to personal training, and now he's the founder of No Gum, a healthy, functional chewing gum company. Drew will be sharing his passion for health and wellness and exciting plans for the future in the industry. We now have Sia Justice, DEI, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Consultant, and Executive Coach. Sia, it is so amazing to have you here today. This month, we're celebrating Black History Month. What comes up for you when you hear Black History Month? Well, first off, hello, uh, Hilary and Marcy. I'm so excited to be here with you. What comes to mind for me is recognition and the celebration and achievements and the contributions of African-Americans throughout history. Um, it's also a time to reflect on the struggles and, and the triumphs of Black individuals who have helped, in my opinion, shape the nation's history. Um, for me, Black History Month is, is um, only, or uh, not only um, about a time to remember the past, but also it's a call to action for the present and for the future, right? If we think about our current climate, there's still so much to be done. And I think when we think about Black History Month, it really becomes a time for us to highlight, right? The ongoing fight for racial equality and justice. You said, I am my ancestors' wildest dream. What does that really mean to you? Oh, Hillary, that is a statement, a powerful affirmation for me of progress and resilience, right? So if you think about it, um, it means like recognizing that my existence, right, the accomplishments, all of my successes that I'm experiencing current day 
are in actuality the fulfillment of the hopes and dreams of my ancestors, right? So you think about the work that they've done, despite their hardships, all of the injustices that they face, I'm still able to stand here and use my success as a testament to their strength, to their perseverance. And for me, it's almost um, honoring their legacy, right? And continuing to push forward, picking up that torch where they left off and continuing to break down barriers and achieving these goals. And these are, you know, sometimes things that if we think about where we are now or where they were, these are things that they only dreamed of. And I'm actually doing those things now. Who has inspired you in becoming the woman that you are? Oh, that is such a loaded question. Um, I have just been so blessed uh, to be surrounded by amazing uh, women in my life. Um, as early as uh, fourth grade, I remember Miss Flossie F uh, Floyd or, or Miss Brownlee, my fifth grade teacher. Um, so many women, but I, I think it's easier for me to kind of call out like the women that influenced me, what made them so influential. And so if I think about their messages, they encourage me to use my gift, uh, which is my voice, um, to elevate not only my voice, but the voice of, of others. They believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. But the most powerful message that they taught me was the power of authenticity. <laughs> they taught me that I was created for a purpose, that I had a unique purpose, and it truly is my life's journey to discover that. And so all of this fire that you see, it's, it's because of all of those women that have poured into me and uh, really got me to see the power in being you. Looking forward, what are your hopes for the future of Black women and helping to impact them? Oh, man. Um, I, I do this in my coaching business every day. And um, I work with individuals. But if I had a hope uh, for the future of Black women as a collective, it would be increased representation, um, equality, opp opportunities for, for Black women in all spheres of life. Um, I even envision a future where Black women are fully empowered, their voices are heard, their contributions are valued. But more importantly, I envision um, a future of allies for Black women, right, um, that are truly committed to being part of the change. Uh, they're leveraging mentorship and their advocacy, but more importantly, they're engaged in um, an active, right, uh, sponsorship of Black women. Um, I think that allyship, right, uh, is truly that missing component in, um, in shaping the future of where we are today. I am excited to see where we all go around your suggestions. And I look forward to hearing more about your next adventures around leading yourself into that next wave of what you're gonna be doing. So thank you again so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to be here. And uh, I am encouraging you to show up in a very, very big way for Black History Month. Um, and so I hope that you will join me uh, in this uh, plight to uh, continue to elevate the uh, voices of Black women. Next, we meet Lauren Brill Castle. She founded Sweet Lauren's, the number one natural cookie dough brand in the country. And she's going to share some great ideas for baking and decorating for Valentine's Day. Then Alexander Neiman, the founder and CEO of the Break Free Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to advocating for those struggling with mental health, substance use, and co-occurring disorders. Lastly, we will meet Drew Schumann, health guru and founder of NoGum. Joining us now is Lauren Brill Castle, founder and CEO of Sweet Lauren's. Welcome, Lauren. Welcome, Lauren. So excited to have you here. Thank you for having me. So Lauren, you have quite the story. And how did surviving cancer in your 20s actually impact you? And how did it reshape your life into doing what you're doing now? Well, surviving cancer in my early 20s completely changed the way I looked at health and well-being and realized that you know our health is everything. Mm -hmm. So I thankfully was 
cured and I just wanted to make sure that I was living a life where I didn't have to deprive myself of my favorite foods, which I have a huge sweet tooth. And so I started to study nutrition and take cooking classes so that I could feed myself the most delicious but healthier food for the, really the rest of my life. And I just have a huge sweet tooth and there was nothing I could find in a supermarket or bakery that was really delicious, but made of those ingredients that I really wanted in my body. So I decided I was going to solve that problem. And I just love a warm chocolate chip cookie. I don't think there's anything better. And I decided I was just going to recreate it. And so it took hundreds and hundreds of batches. I tested every type of flour out there and mm -hmm. oil and sugar and chocolate and finally came up with a combination and recipe for my cookie dough that just, my younger sister who's very picky, she fell in love with it and I saw friends and family fall in love with it and it really inspired me to, to start Sweet Lauren's because I saw that really everyone I met wanted a healthier way to satisfy their sweet tooth as well. And so Sweet Lauren's, we're the number one natural cookie dough brand now. So you can find Sweet Lauren's cookie dough in most supermarkets in the refrigerated cookie dough section. And it's delicious, simple ingredients, but also gluten-free, plant-based, dairy-free, peanut tree nut free. So just great for everyone. So can you tell us really why clean eating is, is so important and especially for what you went through? Like is that, I know sugar, they say sugar is not good for someone that has been diagnosed with cancer, yeah. but really that sugar can even lead to possibly uh, disease. So I'm all about a balanced, healthy lifestyle. And so I think if you say no sugar ever, I just don't know how realistic that is. I think most people have a sweet tooth. They want to be able to indulge a little bit. So I want to be as mindful as possible about the amount of sugar in my diet and what type of sugar. So with Sweet Lauren's, we only use non-GMO pure cane sugar and the lowest amount. We also actually have a less sugar line that we launch. So this is 35% less sugar than the leading cookie dough brands. So it's still sweet but not too sweet. And that way you're able to satisfy your sweet tooth, not feel deprived, not feel like you have to be on this special weird diet for your whole life, uh -huh. really that you can eat your favorite foods. And I think that that's just truly a lifestyle people will stick to where right. it's all about balance yeah. and about you know eating your favorite foods, but really being mindful of your health and not having too much. And it's, it's not just sugar in my opinion. I think too much sugar is not good, but I don't like anything artificial, artificial colors, flavors, mm -hmm. you know, chemicals. I think we're all, all becoming yeah. really mindful of that. So tell us, you have a lot of products here. Uh, the cookie we're dough. We're smelling the so cookies. Excited you guys tell to us try more. these cookies, yeah. right? And you also have a little Valentine's treat that we're going to be making. So tell us about that. So our cookie dough is brilliant because it comes in this packaging where you can just make one or two at a time. So it's mm -hmm. pre-portioned into little, little oh, discs. Oh, that's great. And that way you could throw it into your toaster oven, air fryer, you can make one or two at a time. So you could just throw it on your baking sheet and bake some cookies and then decorate those cookies with some frosting, icing, and sprinkles. And that could be your Valentine's Day treat. If Let you want to go see. a step further, Yes. Yeah, you made, yes, you made a couple there. that were them. They were very so, unusual. That is so cute. And the other one so that you I have. made I decided for you guys I was gonna make two options. I made our sugar cookie dough and then I just melted some chocolate. You can melt some chocolate, microwave stove top. I put a teeny bit of like coconut oil in there just to make it extra shiny. You can dip half the cookie in there and then I put some beautiful red sprinkles on it so that it gives it a crunch and a beautiful red color for Valentine's Day. You can also roll the cookie dough out and then use cookie cutters. So here's a heart shaped cookie. And then I just did it's a cute so little cute. mini heart <laughs> cookie inside and I put know. some red sprinkles. Again, perfect for kids, so fun for families to do, great for yourself, girlfriends, bring it into your kid's school, bring it into your office. Absolutely. Again, I know they want the, the clean food and gluten-free most yeah, times. And we they want bring in a to treat. satisfy our sweet tooth. I know the sweet tooth and, and they to taste be able, good. Yes. All right, so I'm going to try the I chocolate. Try. You try that one. Because I am a right, chocolate cheers. chip fanatic. Boop. All right, Lauren. <laughs> so good. Mm. I mean, so, so good. good. It tastes like a chocolate brownie. 
Mm, it's that's, just, that's our fudgy brownie is mm -hmm. the richest chocolate. It's mm, the best. And Lauren, then, is a, this is good. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you. Wake Up. Thank you for creating these. We need it. Thank you. We now meet Alexandra Neiman, the founder and CEO of the Break Free Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to advocating for those struggling with mental health, substance use, and co-occurring disorders. Alex, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So great to have you here, Alex. Can you tell us about the Break Free Foundation? Yeah, so we just completed our first calendar year as a nonprofit organization. We provide scholarships for individuals with substance use disorders to attend an inpatient, outpatient, and sober living facility at low to no cost to them. And we also offer a variety of different smart recovery meetings, one specific for women and female identifying individuals, ones for members of the LGBTQ plus community, as well as a brand new grief support group. And we're best known, I would say, for our Recovery on the Runway fundraiser. So why blend together fashion and recovery? How did that come about? So for me, I've always kind of felt like I was stuck between two very distinct different worlds where I work as a fashion designer with my women's wear brand, Lady Cat, as well as my passion for the behavioral health and the recovery field. And so one day during lockdown, as one might do, I started wondering like, huh, during May, the fashion industry always has this vibrant messaging around needing to have more awareness for mental health. And then as soon as May's over, it's like we completely forget about it. And I was like, well, what if we had an entire organization dedicated to that? And if we had a runway show where we had people in recovery walking the runways as our models, as well as being our featured designers. And that's kind of how the whole brainchild of Break Free started. And it's just been a really wonderful way to help empower other people in the fashion industry to talk about their road to recovery and to talk about their struggles with disordered eating and their behavioral health and how this really is a difficult industry to break into and to stay in. Alex, I just wanna say thank you so much for having me as a part of the next event that you are having. And for those out there that don't know, I just celebrated eight years, so I'm beyond excited to be invited uh, for the show in February. Uh, Alex, please tell us the details on the next runway show. So the next runway show will be on Monday, February 12th. Doors open at 6 p.m. with a fabulous mocktail hour where you can uh, preview our gallery that will be opening on February 22nd in Williamsburg. It is a collaboration between us and Beyond Art and Space. So they have artists in recovery that will have pieces of their artwork hanging up in the gallery space leading up to the ballroom. Uh, the show starts at seven. And then we'll have a brief after party in the gallery again at around like 9, 9.30, where you can uh, get interviewed, get your photos taken, maybe even take home a piece of art. And all of this is being hosted in the historic Prince George Ballroom at 15 East 27th Street. You can get your tickets online at eventbrite.com. Tickets range from $12 for online viewers, and are between $50 to $100, depending on where you would like to sit for the in-person viewing. So for those out there that wanna get involved with Break Free Foundation, find out how they can get a scholarship and find out more about the services you offer. Where can they go? They can go to breakfreefoundation.org. And on our uh, resources tab, you can see information about treatment locators, how to find a therapist to work with, our other uh, inpatient treatment partners that we work with. We also have information about our partner 10,000 Beds, which focuses specifically on inpatient treatment scholarships. And they have around 200 partners across the country. So if we're not able to provide a scholarship for you, 
our partners over at 10,000 Beds will be more than happy to help you find and get the care and help that you need. It was great to have you on, Alex. And I'll see you soon. February 12th, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll both be there. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. After the break, we meet Drew Schumann, health guru and founder of NOGAM. Joining us now is Drew Schumann, entrepreneur and recent founder of Nogam. It is so great to have you here, and I'm so excited to hear about what you are bringing us today. Thank you, Drew, for coming on Wake Up. It's so exciting. You just launched Nogam like, like a week ago? We just launched. It's very exciting, and it's a surreal feeling. And Ab thank you so much for having me. I'm really grateful to be here. Absolutely. But... You are so into fitness. On social media, I've been watching you, and I really love the tips that you put out there, but you were saying that you love gum, mm -hmm. and you were chewing gum, but you realized all of the toxins that were in it and all the chemicals, mm -hmm. and you stopped chewing gum. So tell us exactly what the inspiration was and what inspired, you know, why did you do this? Yeah, you kind of hit it on the head there. I'm a health and wellness enthusiast myself, mm -hmm. and um, I stopped chewing gum because I couldn't find a product that I was comfortable chewing. But I love chewing gum, mm -hmm. and I know that was the case for so many other people. So that's where my vision came, and I said, hey, I'm going to create this product that I would enjoy chewing. What are some of the toxic ingredients that are actually in gum that you said, hey, I, I can't believe I've been putting this in my body? <laughs> There's a long list of them, but some of the big ones I would say are aspartame, artificial coloring and flavoring, and uh, all different forms of sugar, sucralose, fructose. So my mission was to create a product that was not only not bad for you, but that was good for you and healthy. I gotta tell you, I get a stomach ache so often from mm. gum. So we earlier tested this. I, and I have it's the so same good. problem. I've stopped chewing gum altogether mm -hmm. yeah. because of that. Absolutely, and this really does taste good. And so, I'll tell you, you're not alone in that. There's a lot of other people yeah, out there with that. Absolutely. So tell us about the health benefits of mm -hmm. your gum. So it's packed with vitamins and minerals. It's got vitamin C, vitamin B6, zinc, and magnesium. Mm -hmm. Two pieces is a serving size, and that's 25% of your daily value for all those vitamins and minerals. Really? Mm-hmm. So I have to ask you, what started you down this wellness and fitness path? I was always training and into my health, but it kind of went next level after mm -hmm. I graduated from college. And I realized how much diet, nutrition, and sleep really not only affected my body, but my mental state. And the better I felt, the more I wanted to go deeper into this world and just, yeah, yeah. inspire people in that way. So are you helping people in that area? Yeah, I think this product will for sure help people in that way because they don't have to compromise on their health and they're able to still uh, chew gum, which a lot of people love to do. Well, and not only are they yeah. chewing gum, you're chewing gum and you're getting vitamins mm -hmm. and minerals. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden, I'm now thinking I'm a gum chewer again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going back to it because I right. did enjoy it. And to have those added benefits is incredible. And Absolutely. you said you like to chew the gum while you work out. Oh, yeah. That's like yeah. my favorite. <laughs> yeah. So is... Tell me, is there something that happens while you're working out and you chew the gum also? Does it give you any, any energy? For me, chewing has always been focused. So I love it when I'm working out, running, or also just studying or in a workflow. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it helps me dial in and focus. So I like okay. to stack variables in a lot of different areas of my life. So what's next for No Gum and you? We just want to keep it rolling and get as many people to No Gum as possible. And so as you start to think about bringing this brand out into the world, what, what strategies are you going to use? Um, I think grassroots marketing in the beginning, and then we'll kind of uh, use influencers and keep uh, marketing in different areas. And come on shows like ours, because yeah. we want to make sure that people know about this. Because mm -hmm. now that we've done the research, gum is so bad for you. Right. So healthy gum, and you are getting supplements that mm -hmm. help you. I mean, it's incredible. Drew, I got to tell you, this is genius, mm. and thank you for bringing your idea to life, mm. and you're going to help a lot of us, and I'm excited we get to chew gum again. <laughs> we get to. There Drew, we go. Thank you for creating such a great brand. Tell, tell us you, where girls. you can find no gum. 
you could find it at chewnogum.com mm -hmm. um, on my social media page, which is Drew Schumann underscore, or the social media page for no gum, which is no gum one word underscore. If anyone follows you, they actually will learn so much. It has to do with fitness and health, in addition to getting all of the information on no gum. So get out there and follow Drew's. Thank you again for coming on Wake Up. Thank you so Drew, much for having me. Thanks for being me. here. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I love today's show. I'm so excited about the Break Free Foundation I'm excited event. to see you in the fashion show. Well, and I'm excited that you're going to be there sharing it with me. So next week on the show, we meet Dr. Amit Patel, an oncologist and expert in cancer prevention. Then we meet Chrissy Joy, an international trick dog champion. Renowned Miami plastic surgeon, Dr. Adam Rubenstein. And lastly, Hillary and I will be sharing the latest must-have gifts in 2024. Remember to be kind to yourself and kind to others. And wake up to all of your possibilities. See you next weekend.